Hi, it's Matt from Go Green Autos. So here we have a Nissan ENV 200 for sale. It's a late 2016, a centre base model, and it's got the 24 kilowatt hour battery pack, and the battery is owned, and it's got a particularly good pack on this one, but I'll go into that a bit more in detail later on. So this van has only done 8,900 miles, and I don't think I've ever seen a used van with such a clean interior it is all still looking like new in here and if we look in the cargo area it is uh, ply lined including full length ply on the back doors and has got this uh, carpet on the base and uh, yeah as you can see all really clean and tidy and then here at the side we've got our charge cable type 2 to type 1 for the vehicle a brand new cable because this vehicle didn't actually come with any cables and here we've got a pair of um, seat covers to go on those front seats so next i'll just talk about charging on this van so i'll just release the charge port at the front with that lever there and then round here at the front we can see that this one does not have DC rapid charging because it is the Ascenta model and it's not an Ascenta rapid. And here we've got the AC charging. So this is a 3.3 kilowatt type one AC charging port, typically for overnight charging. So this charge is at a rate of about 13 miles per hour if using a three or seven kilowatt AC wall charger. And uh, ideally you want to charge this overnight. So um, if the daily range, and on these it's about 80 to 90 miles, if that daily range uh, is enough for what you need to do and you can charge overnight, you've got off-street parking, then these are just ideal and you wouldn't be using DC rapid charging anyway. This van is very much like the Renault Kanga Electric because they don't have DC rapid charging either. But of course you can also do top-ups uh, throughout the day while you're working using a portable charger and charging on a normal uh, main socket. So I can provide one of those portable chargers as well. They're often called a granny cable and the full details of that are on the website. So let's now look at the uh, condition and that's obviously the primary purpose of this video. If you see my videos before, you know I point out every little minor stone chip mark or scratch I can find. I don't hide anything because I want people to know exactly what they're buying. Uh, and then that gives people the confidence to buy the vehicle from afar without coming here to view it first. But of course it's here if you do want to come and view and test drive. And then I can get the vehicle delivered to you and I can deliver these anywhere in the country and it will come to you on a flatbed or a trailer. So this one is in really nice condition. It's only done 8,900 miles as I said, but uh, we'll have a little walk around anyway. Firstly, there are no dents or scratches uh, in the bodywork. It has been partially wrapped previously, which has protected the paintwork, so it's in really nice condition. The tyres are all very good as well, the tyre tread depths are on the website. Um, there's just a few scratches on the plastic wheel trims, which you're always going to get. Um, looking round the front, there's no scratching on the uh, plastic lower down. There was a few little chips just there and I've dabbed a bit of touch-up paint in there where obviously it touched something when parking. No chips in the bonnet or the windscreen. The only uh, marks on this van is just here on this front near side wing and there was a bit of scuffing here on that panel and a scratch there and a smaller one there but again it's got a bit of touch-up paint and lacquer on there so that does look very much better still visible but there's just a few little scratches along that edge and about a two inch scratch there the only other thing is this wheel trim does have a little bit more scratching on the edges because they always do on the near side one they hit curbs and it is sort of dented up a little bit on that edge but not bad enough to replace yet and then looking along the side here absolutely immaculate uh, just a bit more scratching on that wheel trim as well but that's it it's in really nice condition no dents down the side no dents at the back very slight little dent there where the wrong door gets slammed first but really tiny um, yeah and it's just a very very clean and tidy van I've shown you in the back but uh, We've obviously got sliding doors on both sides, as you do on these, fully ply lined. It's got the carpet on the floor, 
haven't even cleaned that carpet either that's how the van came in so it's had very little use and very light use even the um, latches down here don't even have any rust or the rubber isn't split like you normally get on these it's just a really really clean and tidy van and then looking on the inside as i said i've never seen a used van in such good condition on the inside it's all still looking like new clearly it's had those seat covers uh on the um, seats protecting them so the seats are just in lovely condition we've got carpet mats on the floor and if i just show you under the carpet mats it's all looking like new we've got storage tray there under the driver's seat we've got the toolkit under the passenger seat for the spare wheel these do have a spare wheel on the back um and yeah all really good condition there's nothing really to show you here apart from a few little scratches on the inside of the pocket but that's being super picky and then we've got two keys and then if i just start it up we can see there the mileage is 8921 miles so i'll push the horn there and um yeah we've got 12 out of 12 bars there on the battery capacity um if i just scroll around here to as our charge time one hour 30 to bring it back up to 100 percent uh, battery is currently at 92% charge and we're showing an estimated range of 80 miles and then if I put it into eco we've got 85 miles but yeah this this will show over a hundred um, sorry over 90 miles when it's fully charged but if I push that again we can see our recent driving economy uh, I think was at three yeah three miles per kilowatt hour so that's pretty poor inefficient driving you can drive these uh, at four or if, or if you're in a city you can drive them at four and a half miles per kilowatt hour in the summer if you're driving efficient efficiently so the estimated range will go up accordingly one does have the winter pack so down here we've got heated seats on both sides and we've also got a heated steering wheel so you've got a leather heated wheel and that's really nice in the winter because you can heat your contact points and that's much more efficient heating your hands and your bum on the seat than heating all of the um, cabin with the hot air because obviously your um, heating system does use an awful lot of energy and will, will reduce the range in the winter but the full details of uh, all of that is on the website and uh, obviously everything works without any fault or errors at all so next I'll just show you the paperwork we have got the book pack with all the manuals and the service book and uh, we have got three service stamps in it with the receipts so the van has come in from the lease company and has had no previous keepers so just the one keeper from new and the registration date is the 1st of the 11th 2016 the MOT is until 31st of the 10th 21 it was done at 7500 miles so it wasn't hasn't done many miles since we've got uh, receipts for one two three services and uh, as I said the um, battery pack is particularly good on this vehicle and currently the battery is at 89.17% state of health so on these the battery pack state of health does fluctuate a little bit it can change as much as about three percent um, so what I normally find is they will go up a little bit when the van gets back into daily use but uh, typically on these they lose about three percent capacity per year so this one is quite a bit better than other vans uh, other Nissan ENV 200 vans I see of this sort of age so I think I've pretty much covered everything and as always all the details are on the website so if you're interested give me a call or email and as I said I can deliver these anywhere in the country and it will come to you on a flatbed or a trailer and it will be fully charged and ready to use